my friends. Nala. Have you seen a bit? It's been a rough week in the sense of just trying to make it all happen and feeling like we're still living some sort of life and enjoying it to some degree. Because sometimes, not gonna lie, it's starting to feel like we're just working, working, working for what kind of great angle.
Hi friends. So this is the first vlog. I've kind of been thinking about it for a minute. Um, I love the concept of putting work into creating a memory of what my life is like at this moment in time. I think I will really appreciate it down the line kind of thing. Ooh, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, I'm from Portugal. I'm a professional dancer. I've been a professional dancer for pretty much my whole life. I was born and raised in Lisbon, Portugal, and I now live in LA for the past 10 years. Um, I also lived in London for four years before moving to the States. I have a kid that is one year old and I'm married to a professional dancer and choreographer as well. Um, I am on my way to LAX airport because I'm going to Italy for a camp to teach three classes at a camp. Yeah, I think you've seen at this point, you've seen uh, snippets of our morning. Um, I managed to be with her for a little bit, feed her, pack, and now I'm on my way. I don't know to what extent I want to commit to this yet, but I will try my best to stay consistent because I think for me, I work better when I know when there's a frame that I, when there's a task that I have to follow or that I have to achieve, right? If I kind of leave it a little too free, things don't get done as efficiently. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy this journey. Again, I don't know to what extent I'm going to share, but I think the fact that I'm even doing this and putting putting some work into this, into, into, into showing you guys and, you know, into creating these memories uh, for myself, I think it'll be dope. It'll be a dope journey. And if you guys enjoy it, let me know. Follow, subscribe, all the things that you're supposed to say, but I don't even know if you really want to follow me quite yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay. just got to Taranto, I believe that's how you pronounce it, in Italy. I flew from LA to Rome for 11 hours um, and then to Rome and then from Rome to Bari and then I drove for an hour and a half to Taranto. The 11 hours was actually that bad. I watched <laughs> Jerzina's reality show on Netflix. I love to watch like dumb TV on flights for whatever reason. I think it's just my time to like shut off. I really enjoyed it. I cried like a baby. I don't know why. Well, I know why. When she lost the baby, I relate, but I don't. Long story. Miscarriage type of story. It's okay. We'll get to that one day. Um, but now I'm here. And uh, I don't know why I feel disgusting. The fact that I'm even sitting on this couch, I'm like, D, just get up and go take a shower. I don't know why we just feel, you just feel so gross after flying for this long. You just feel like you need, you want a whole new set of skin. Set of skin? Yeah, you get it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to shower, maybe eat something. There's a little rooftop area pool and bar situation I'm gonna eat and then I teach at 8 30 it is 4 40 now so I got time but not that much time uh and yeah I'm still debating on what to teach I don't know what the vibe is I teach three classes total so two tomorrow and is the last day if I'm not mistaken so 
Last day people usually just like not even there anymore. So I'm wondering, I have like one piece that is clearly the hardest piece. So I'm debating if I should teach us today and just kind of get it out of the way. And then tomorrow in the morning teach like a slower one, which will um, lead them into the rest of the day. And then I have another class in the afternoon that maybe I just teach like a fun one. That's what I'm feeling like, but I'm still considering it. Today, I think it's gonna be fun. The hotel is really nice. I'll do a little, a, li a little room tour for you guys. It's like a cute, nice little room. You don't need much than this for two nights. Yeah, I'm just here for two nights. And then on Thursday morning, really early, I fly back to LA, land in LA at one, go home, unpack and repack. Cause the day after on Friday, we leave to um, Texas for my friend's wedding. Yeah. And I got to have a pack for Nala. So that's going to be challenging. I was debating if I should tell Ivan to pack for her, but I know I know I'm going to I'm not going to like wish back. So I think I have to do it with all the love, babe. I love you. Ah, I almost forgot in Rome. I had a little bit of a layover and uh I did some damage. No, I was really trying to buy anything. But I am a sucker for a bucket hat. Plus, when we moved into this apartment recently, um, how I don't know how, but we lost one of the bags. And that bag had my whole collection of bucket hats that I've literally been collecting for the past, I don't even know how long. So I don't buy often, but when I do buy, I do love a brand. That's just what it is, right? And bucket hats, whenever like I don't have braids on and it's um, early morning rehearsal or just I had, there's days I just don't have the patience nor the time to do my hair. So bucket hats is the move for me or like shoot day, set day, all that stuff. So I have never had a bucket hat, a Fendi bucket hat. So I'm actually, my, my, my collection is actually So it's giving rain hat, but I kind of like that. I I tried the men's version, and it was giving just like a regular bucket hat. The shape, the shape, it was kind of giving regular. Um, and I have plenty of those with like the flat top kind of thing. And then the lady, they didn't have my size, and the lady was like, oh, what about this? And I was like, no, it's giving rain. Then I put it on, and it's actually giving rain, but it's also giving like high end. I don't really give a... So I thought it was a vibe. And tax-free. Just showered, skincare all done. I still have some time, so I think I'm gonna go upstairs to the pool and just enjoy some sun. Also, shout out to my friend Ruby for Introducing me to these Gucci slides. They're so beat up because that's literally all I wear every day. Okay, it is 7.30. So I just came down, chill for a bit, changed, uh, stretched, for a second, and now I'll just change into class. This is what we're given today. I I always feel like I pack a lot, and whenever it comes the time that I need to figure out an outfit, I always feel like I didn't bring enough stuff. So, but yeah, here we are. I'm gonna go grab some food, and then I'm getting picked up at 8:10, and my class starts at 8:30. So yeah, let's go. the vibe I'm going for all white ding 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 my little
Crocs that everybody hates, but they're the cutest thing ever to me. Um, that's the vibe. <laughs> Just got back. It is now for 3:40 a.m. Um, Wash my face, skincare, and uh, I teach at 11 a.m. tomorrow, so it's giving me. I have to wake up at around 9 a.m. So very little sleep. Um, we ended up going for some food and uh, drinks after, which was really nice. If I'm talking weird, it's because I have a retainer on. Um, it was really nice. It's actually so nice to reconnect with people that. You've kind of built like relationships and friendship throughout your career and we don't get to see each other often at all um so it's now like we're in this middle of nowhere kind of thing and we have the time to reconnect and to just like have normal normal conversations it's really nice it's obviously really hard to be away from nala but at the same time it kind of is kind of a reminder of like my old life stop crying I can just call him and he doesn't know what to do my heart my heart my heart my heart Some breakfast, it was really nice. Um, yeah, let's do this. Like fun. I am still contributing for all of us to grow, myself included. 